All right, everybody, what are we going to be talking about today? Well, today's going to be uh, the pawn shop series or pawn shop slash local shop finds great deal finds number three, right? Why am I doing this series? Because, you know, people often ask me, where do you find all this stuff? Where do you find the good deals? You know, I'm not going to tell you all the websites that I shop on, right? But go to your local pawn shops, go to your local mom and pop music shops, even the ones that mostly carry brass or something like that. You never know. People will trade guitars in there. You're never going to know unless you go there, right? So get off your butt, go down to the store and go check it out. If you like my content, though, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love talking to you guys. But what are we talking about today? This is another amp, and this one actually came also as a combo. For some reason, like almost every single boogie that I find is always in a combo. Nobody wants combos. I don't like combos. They're cool. Yeah, they're loud. They do their thing, right? But they just don't have that bottom end. You know, I'm used to a 4x12. So when you're used to a 4x12, it is really, really hard <laughs> to, you know, just use a 1x12. Unless it's in a very specific scenario, right? But without further ado, what is this thing? Those of you that, that have seen my other videos, you might already know what it is just based on this little color that's poking out here. But let's check it out. Boom. That is Mesa Boogie Mark 2B. And this one is the later model RP9C. So the story behind this one is went into the local shop, browsing around, you know, and this is a shop that I, I buy from often, first name basis with almost all the staff. Um, so I see nothing out on the floor. I'm just like, dude, what is going on, man? You guys don't have nothing. He's like, oh, you didn't look back here, did you? And I peek back over and down on the floor, I see a wood combo. And initially, I just saw the old faceplate and I saw, you know, I, I saw the right side of this and I didn't really see the silver on the knob. So I was like, oh shit, am I looking at a 2C plus in a pawn shop? Um, but no, it's a it's a 2B, you know, so I'm just like, oh man, and uh, kind of disappointed, right? But then I'm like, you know, well, let me, let me see what kind of deal I can make and see if it makes sense. So I hit up you know, my, my internet and uh, small YouTube channel buddy, Jeremy Ferber, because I know he knows a lot more about Boogie than I do, even even to this day, right? And then a lot of what I know I've learned from him. So thank you, Jeremy. Uh, and you should check out his channel, which is Titan. So go check him out. He's got a lot of Boogie videos. So I ask him, I'm like, which, which two Bs are the ones that you should get? You know, and uh, he said, well, RP9C preamp board, is basically the one you want because it's got the most gain. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm like, oh, how am I supposed to tell tell the shop guys that I need to see the preamp board? You know, so I, I kind of just thought about it a little bit and I'm like, oh, well, I'm just going to tell them straight up. Like, hey, I, I might be interested, but it depends on what board is on that chassis or in that chassis rather. And he's like, well, can you take it apart? Because I can't take it apart. And I, I just showed him, I'm like, hey, yeah, it's got the it's got the four screws on the top. You got to unplug the reverb tank and uh, then unplug the fan. That's really it. It's very simple. I promise you I will not mess it up. Right. So he brought out a little little power drill and pulled pulled the chassis out. And sure enough, I saw RP9C right on that board. So I'm like, OK, Jeremy, you done did it. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Uh, but actually, I do mean thank you because this is a badass amp right? So I had it for a little bit, you know, I put some boost in front of it because it was a little bit flabby um, before the boost. So the boost just kind of pushed it and gave it that nice punch and made it sound very C plus like. The other thing that was different, because uh, I didn't have one of these, is that this is an HRG. So this one is the 100 watt, which also has 60 watt switch right here, uh, but a little bit different you know, than what I'm used to. And yes, this does have the rotary dial and it is the uh, export transformer, which, you know, I've, I've seen that Mike B says that he likes those. He thinks it's the best fitting performer. Uh, maybe not the best sounding. I don't know. I, I haven't had any other ones. But anyway, so I got this and, you know, my mindset at the time was just like, I got to get the Metallica tones, you know, so I, I got it. And then I'm like, ah, it doesn't really have the Metallica tones. It's flabby. The gain's too low. So then I sell it off to another internet buddy. Everybody knows him, uh, Scott Stofik. He builds head shells uh, for these amps and does a great job. 
right? So I sold it to him because he's kind of in the same ballpark. He wants like a C plus sound. And, um, you know, he thought this sounded pretty good in my videos. So I sell it to him and he's a busy dude. He doesn't have much play time with it. And uh, then the Mark 7 comes out and I put out some videos and he just absolutely was like, oh, that sounds way better. Let me just get the 7. So then I was like, can I buy it back from you? You know, but in the interim time, he actually sent it to Boogie, had them loop mod it and then send it back. And let me tell you, the loop mod completely changed the amp. You know, it's the same thing. Uh, essentially that made the 2C+, plus, which is moving where the effects loop is in the chain of events. And I, I forget off the top of my head, somebody I'm sure will comment down below, but uh, they move the loop around. It's the same thing they did from the 2C to make it the 2C+, plus, although they wouldn't call this a 2B+, plus. Uh, it's just a loop modded 2B. You know, those of us that, that want to hype it up, we call it a 2B+. Plus right? Which it kind of is, but Boogie doesn't officially recognize it at that, and they're Boogie, so, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, so then we got to talking about it, and I think they wanted around $2,500 for it, and it was just like, oh, that hurts. You know, I know it's a wood combo, but it's kind of a beat-up wood combo. It's got a little stain on it, and it's got a little, like, sitting in the garage way too long smell to it, and uh, we made a good deal. You know, I paid way, way, way less than that for it, you know, and then I sold it for the same price I paid for it. And then I bought it back for more because it was already loop modded and things like that. But at the end of the day, this is an absolutely fantastic amp that I found in a pawn shop, right? So go support your local pawn shops. Most of them are going to be a local business. You know, some of them, we've got a couple of chain pawn shops here, but they're only here. They're not like a nationwide shop or anything like that. So you're still supporting your local businesses um, and, you know, maybe getting yourself a fantastic deal. All right, that's all I got for this one, guys. Have a good one out there. Like, as I always say, if you like my content, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.